Yo, what's up? This is the Salt Bays on Brock Lesnar versus Shane Kareem. Sorry if I don't get the last name right. Anyway, you know I uh, have my boxing page here on YouTube and I do boxing, but tonight there was no major fights in the boxing world. So I'm watching these promos leading up to the Brock Lesnar Shane Kareem fight. And I've seen Brock Lesnar fight two or three times. I've seen him throughout his WWE career because I've always been a WWE fan since I was a little kid. And Shane Kareem, I've never seen him. And I'm looking at his record, man. He has 12 wins, zero losses, all 12 wins by knockout in the first round. Shane has never been to a second round in his whole professional career as an MMA fighter. So I got to see this guy. This guy has Mike Tyson type punch out power in both hands. This guy is a beast. And I'm thinking I got to see this pay-per-view event. The whole pay-per-view event was great. I mean, every fight on that card was great. All the fights were great. These events are very good because they give you five, six fights and they're all very good, you know, evenly matched fights. And anyway, let's get uh, to the Brock Lesnar versus Shane Coran. Anyway, first round starts. Brock Lesnar is going to... He, he's thinking about trading blows to Shane. That was the mistake, man. Shane threw those Mike Tyson devilish type knockout punches and he caught Brock in the jaw. Brock went down. It, it was, you know, and then Shane came at him and blasted him with punches, left, right, and just killing him. He was killing him. He was, he was, he was. Brock Lesnar looked like a sitting duck. You know, uh, Shane was just knocking punches on Brock Lesnar's face. Brock Lesnar was busted up, and he was getting punched for the whole first round. And um, leading towards the end of the first round, the referee was just ready to stop. The, you know, he was going to stop the fight. He was going to stop the fight and declare Shane the winner. But Brock Lesnar, out of the blue, just got up. You know, he manned up. He took the, you know, he took all the punches he could take. And he, and, and he held on and he got to the second round. When the second round came, all of a sudden I'm seeing Shane, man. This guy's breathing hard. This guy's tired. This guy's exhausted. And here comes Brock Lesnar. He tries to trade blows with him again. I don't know why he did that. You know, that was not a smart move. But, you know, Brock realized, you know, I got to take this guy to the ground. So he took him to the ground. They're grabbing each other for a while. But Brock Lesnar on the floor. Brock Lesnar is a beast. Because this guy, you know, he has great mobility. He moves like a small fighter. And when he grabs you in one of those choke holes, you know, he has that huge man type um, power. So Shane was getting the better of him for the whole fight while they were standing up. When he got to the floor, when they were on the mat. Brock Lesnar took over, grabbed him in some sort of a side choke hold, and that was the end of the fight. Um, Shane uh, uh, tapped out, and Brock Lesnar is still your heavyweight, super heavyweight world champion, and um, it was a great fight. It was a great fight. Uh, Brock Lesnar defended his belt with dignity, pride, honor, and the guy was buried, man. I'm telling you, Brock Lesnar took everything that Shane had to offer. Shane hit him probably like 50 times in the face. He almost knocked Brock Lesnar out and Brock Lesnar took it with a busted face, kept coming. Brock Lesnar had great stamina and Shane did not have great stamina. Shane, you need to go run in the beach with Rocky Balboa or do something because I think I would love to see a, a rematch. But Shane cannot fight more than one round. You take him to the second round, he's done for. He's tired. And Brock Lesnar, man, uh, much respect. I think now the fans are going to appreciate more what you did because there's no way you could boo that victory, man. That victory was won in the hardest way you can imagine. It was a great, great fight. Now, um, those are the results. Brock Lesnar is still your heavyweight UFC champion. Now, I would like someone to tell me because, you know, the fight before that one, um, the fight before the main event was the kid with the red head and he was fighting a fighter I believe who was uh, Japanese man that fight was so awesome these guys were trading blows it was like watching a Gotti fight versus Ward it was just uh, uh, Morales versus Barrera uh, Corrales versus Castillo that's the type of fight I was seeing in that fight in the and before the main event of Lexner this fight was awesome but the problem was something happened and I couldn't finish watching the fight. So what I do not know who won the fight. I don't know if the redhead won the fight or if the Japanese who I believe, I'm not sure, 
who I believe is Japanese. I don't know if the Japanese guy won the fight or the redhead kid won the fight. So anyone who knows who won the fight before the main event, let me know. Or if you have a video on it on YouTube from here two, two three days later, uh, send it to me because I would really want to see the ending of that fight. So, you know, that's the Vesalt Bears on the UFC. And I have some boxing recorded from Fox Deport Test today, so I'm probably going to try to watch that. If there's anything good, I'll let you guys know tomorrow. So, uh, those are the results that y'all know.